Hey everybody, this is Brittany with Redeemable Junk, and I'm here today to show you guys how to make, it's kind of like a glassine bag, but it's larger than a glassine bag, okay? So this is what it is, this is what the back looks like. All it is is tracing paper that is dyed, and then you glue it down to a page, and it acts as a pocket, see? So they're pretty neat and they're large. This is one I made for my beach journal and I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that or not. I haven't decided. But if you guys notice, the reason I made this one is because it says don't forget the sunscreen. It reminded me of my little boy. He's allergic to the sun and he gets so red if he doesn't get sunscreen on and blisters and it's really bad. But anyways, if you guys notice, I have color back here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that, okay? How to achieve this look and to add color to your journals. This is something I didn't really think about until I got something out and I was like, oh my goodness, you can watercolor these. You can watercolor your pages too and you can do them any color you want and I forgot that I had watercolor um, pins actually, watercolor pins and they're really neat. So anyways, what you're going to start off with is a piece of tracing paper, okay? So you're going to... Fold it over and you're going to leave a little flap so you can tell that it's a pocket. Let me see where my fold was. Okay. And you're just going to fold it over. And I always leave a little spot over here. You don't have to do that, but I do. And then you can glue it or you can sew it. I always sew mine, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and glue this one first. Maybe I'm going to glue it first. Looks like my bottle was clogged. And it's still clogged. Let's see if I can get it out. Ugh. Okay, I got the clog. Okay, so you're just going to go around the top and the bottom with glue. And you're going to glue it down. Okay. Next, let me grab my watercolor pencils, or my watercolor pens. I have these, and I don't remember where I bought them at, to be honest with you. Probably Amazon. They were pretty cheap, I would imagine. And they're watercolor brush pens, okay? So you're going to need that, and you're going to need a spray bottle. So you can you can um, color these any color you want. And what you do... Oh, and you're going to need a paintbrush, too. I forgot to tell you about that. You're going to need a paintbrush and some water. And I'm going to leave the bottom because I want it to look like sand, okay? Let me see. I think I'm going to put the seashell on here. It's probably about right there. Let me show you what it's going to start to look like. You take your water... And see how it's coming together? That's literally all you do. I don't know if I want that dark blue in there or not. I guess I could add a little bit. It'd probably look best to have the dark blue in the back more. I didn't think about that. Okay, so let's get this wet and see what it looks like. And then all the colors will start to blend together. And then you dry it with a heat gun. And you could also do this with just a watercolor palette. You don't have to have watercolor 
um, brushes like I have. A watercolor palette would work just as well. So I'm going to go dry this so I can make this a little bit darker because it's not quite as dark as I would like. So I'm going to pause this and go dry it. Okay, yeah, it's not quite as dark as I would like it. So I think I'm going to actually make it more dark in the back and then more lighter coming up. more green at the bottom and then all you do is just like I said go over it with water and it all blends together beautifully look at that I think I'm really liking it. So I'm going to go dry this and I'll be right back. So there we have the watercolored piece. And I like it. I think it looks good. So I'm going to stop there. And this is a neat way to... Um, oh, sorry. Hold on, guys. This is a neat way to actually add color to your pages also. You can do this to pages. So it's really neat. And I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. I thought... This just seems kind of plain to me. Um, I thought about putting a boat stamp right there. And maybe adding some cheesecloth behind these two pieces. So let me get... I wonder if I should do it in navy or black. Probably black. Hmm. Seems like my stamp pad might be drying out. Okay. Uh, that's why I don't usually use stamps. You can barely see it. The bottom didn't take. Let's see if I can line it up. It'll be a miracle if I can. There we go. Okay. I think it doubled a little bit, but that's okay. I think you can tell it's a stamp or a boat. Now, what my thoughts was, we need to ink these up. Oh my goodness, guys, my craft area is such a mess right now. I tell you, it's usually not this messy, but I'm doing a, that beach journal, and I have stuff everywhere right now. So my husband and I, we're leaving tomorrow for four, three or four days, I can't remember. We're going to Nashville um, for our anniversary. Tomorrow is our 12th anniversary, so we get to go be alone, and 
he is going to take me to some antique shops, which I'm super excited about. And I'm actually kind of liking how this is looking. I didn't think that I was going to, but I am. I'm liking it. I wish I had little birds I could put on there. That'd be cool. What do you guys think about it? It's coming together. I wonder how it would look on that page that I have. I really want to use the little girl and the little boy, but just wasn't feeling it for some reason. I I really don't know why either, but I just I just wasn't feeling the page. You guys will have to take a vote and you'll have to put in the comment section which one you like better this isn't finished yet we still got to sew and everything but this one okay or the little girl and the little boy so you guys can tell me that whenever we're done but let's finish this one first let's glue everything down and i think it needs some maybe some lace down the side let's glue actually i'm gonna go sew it real quick and i'll be right back Okay, so I've got sewn around it. We're going to glue these down. I think I kind of want it at an angle like that. Have that like that. And then let me get my signature back out. Because so if I use this, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, I would... If I add lace, which I haven't decided if I'm going to do yet either, I would like it to match. What do you guys think? With or without the lace? I'm just not feeling the lace. I just... I don't know. What do you guys think? Man, I wish you guys could talk back to me right now. Hmm. I got this lace too that we could use. I got tons of lace that we could use. Kind of like that a little bit. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I kind of like the darker one too. Oh goodness. Okay, after about 10 minutes of going back and forth, I decided on the light blue, the thinner one. So I'm going to glue it on. I think it just looks bare without any lace. I mean, the lace doesn't have me sewed, but. I think it's better than the other ones. I mean, I could use maybe a vintage piece. Let me see. Even though I just put the glue down, so it's going to be hard to tell. Um, but I really doubt it. i got to stand over it to see. Yeah, no. I like the, um, the blue better. 
Okay, so blue it is. Let me trim the edges off. And then we will have our homemade glass scene craft envelope made. So you guys, I'm really thinking that I like this one better than the other one. I would like your guys' opinion. So leave in the comments and tell me which one you guys like. The one with the seashell or the one with the kids. Um... I think I already know which one I'm going to do. I really like how this one turned out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember um, that we glue this down to the page. And then it becomes an envelope that you can store all kinds of stuff in. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And make sure to check out the description below as I have some information there for you guys. And you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.